Hello everyone, you're watching Asiana Times, Ranch Tamhara. Savitri Jindal is Asia's richest woman. She is 72 and the chairperson of OP Jindal Group. Before her, the position of Asia's richest woman was held by Yang Huiyan from China. Former Haryana cabinet minister and emeritus chairperson of OP Jindal Group, Savitri Jindal has surpassed China's Yang Huiyan to become the richest woman in Asia. She is 72 and according to Bloomberg Billionaires Index, she has a fortune worth 11.3 billion USD. With her nine children, she is India's wealthiest woman and controls OP Jindal Group set up by her late husband, Om Prakash Jindal. The company is based in New Delhi and has stakes in steel producer GSW Steel as well as other companies pertaining to mining, power generation, industrial gases and port facilities. Savatri Jindal is now at number 10 on India's richest people list. Savatri's net worth has more than tripled from 4.8 billion USD a few months ago to 17.7 billion USD currently. Her wealth saw a roller coaster ride as it dipped 50% in 2019 and 2020. From 8.8 billion in 2018, her net worth dropped to $5.9 billion in 2019 and then to $4.8 billion in 2020. But today, she has a net worth of $18 billion thanks to her conglomerate, Jindal Group which is involved in industries including metal and power generation. The company is the third largest producer of steel in India and also operates in cement, energy and infrastructure. She entered the list of India's top 10 richest people in 2021 when her fortune touched $18 billion in 2021. She has been constantly ranked India's richest woman by Forbes for the past few years. She is followed by Biocons, Kiran Mazumdar and Krishna Godrej. Jindal is also the 10th richest person in the country of about 1.4 billion. Before Savitri Jindal, the position of Asia's richest woman was held by Yang Huiyan from China. Her position slipped as China's property crisis adversely affects the nation's developers, including her Country Garden Holdings Corporation. Jindal was born in Assam and in 1970, she got married to Om Prakash Jindal, who founded the Jindal Group in 1952. She became the chairperson of the Jindal Group after her husband, O.P. Jindal, who founded the company, passed in 2005. He died in a helicopter crash and after her husband's death, she took over the conglomerate that looks after the production of steel and operates in cement energy and infrastructure. Not just business, but Savitri Jindal was also involved in politics. She is a member of the Indian National Congress political party. She is also a minister in the Haryana government and a member of the Haryana Vidhan Sabha from Hisar constituency. In 2014, though, she lost the seat in elections conducted for the Haryana Assembly. That is all for the news today. Thank you for watching Asian Times. This is Anjitam Hera, signing off.